number one Iron Age booty daddy. Marvel and DC comic sales seem to be slowing down. And by seem to be slowing down, they're basically heading about the same speed that Armageddon would have hit us in that, you know, famous movie that Bruce Willis had to go and blow up a meteor. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, my bad jokes aside, you get it. Marvel and DC Comics aren't selling well lately. There's a fantastic article today over on Bounding into Comics where they kind of pulled some stuff from uh, Bleeding Cool, I believe. And uh, I have that over here, but it's kind of hard to switch in this mode. But comic shop owners are admitting that Marvel and DC Comics aren't exactly flying off the shelves anymore. Now, this spurs an interesting thought in my mind. As always, when I cover topics like this, ladies and gentlemen, I don't exactly cover them in the way that necessarily everybody else does. I You start off with the obvious, because the obvious is there, but let's go through some fun things here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you like what I do here, it would be absolutely fantastic if you would hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell for me. So, there is a Rodman, uh, Rod Lamberti, uh, the owner of Rodman Comics in Ankeny, Iowa. Hey, I live in Iowa. I know that place. It's a flyover state, as many would call it. But he is admitting that... Uh, honestly, a lot of the new Marvel and DC comics just aren't moving, and the sales are actually progressively slowing down. And I will leave the link for the Bounding Into Comics article down in the description below so you guys can check this out for yourselves. Now, he's saying that a lot of these characters are not flying off the shelves in the way that they used to, and I haven't made it through the entire article to find out whether or not people are going back and buying back issues. But the interesting thing that I want to talk about here, because I'm not really in the Marvel and DC space, space. I'm more in the indie space. And even further beyond that, I'm more in the Iron Age space, right? You could tie a lot of comic skate guys to us. You can tie whatever, but I'm kind of in that space. So my question here is, as the decline of major mainstream comic books are happening, is that going to transfer? Will the enthusiasm that people once had for those characters transfer over to some more of these indie comics and indie comics indie used to be a bad word right i used to hear indie and, and to myself i would think oh that's going to be hot garbage because a lot of it was like a lot of indie stuff back in the way back in the day was bad partially because of production quality partially because of bad writing and so on and so forth like me i very very ever seldomly checked out indie artists uh because i'm a music guy because a lot of it was bad i mean i was bad i was an indie musician i was bad like let's not go there but now that indie is becoming much better and i say that having covered so much of it on my channel in the last year i have seen absolutely stellar artwork. I've seen fantastic writing. I've got a gaggle of books over here that I need to get to. And I'm going to be honest, none of them are trashed here. None of them are even bad. Some of them are mid-range, but for the price that you pay for it, a mid-range mid book ain't bad, right? Some of them are better than mid-range. Some of them are great. In fact, I just picked up this guy here, which could be considered indie, which is Dominion, and I can't wait to get into this, but I have some other things that I need to read first. My concern here is this. Had it not been for me having kids and wanting to see a... A, a somewhat of a revival of entertainment for them, I would never have gotten into the space that I am into now. Maybe I would have, but my driving factor here is wanting to make sure that my children have quality, good entertainment that's not trying to espouse some religious or political message to them that I don't necessarily want them to be around. And honestly, what we're seeing is a lot of fantastic artwork, and we're seeing a lot of good stories and a lot of wholesome stories. We're also seeing not a lot of not-so-wholesome stories. <laughs> However, that's a video for a different day. Maybe I should do, like, a top five spicy-looking stories for the channel. Let me, get, let me know down in the comments below if you guys want me to do that. But my question here is are these people who are no longer buying marvel and dc comics sorry to bury the lead will their enthusiasm stay or 
will it just die out when they go, hey, you know what, I bought comics for a long time, I'm just, I'm just done. Do they know that there are other options out there? Do they know that there are other stories out there that they can connect with? This is one of the things that I have really been thinking about in the last, oh, probably few months, is that how is the dying comic book industry going to translate over to the rising indie industry? Is it go Are they going to have the influx of people or are just a lot of people who are internet normies. They're comic book nerds, but internet normies, they don't know about the culture war. They're not involved in all of that stuff. How does all of this factor into creators who are putting out good stories and fans who used to love those good stories from Marvel and DC? How does that translate to those two connecting? This has been a thought in my mind for a long time. You see, I have this idea that although... You know, we've seen the bad track of Marvel and DC. I don't think that those ex-Marvel and DC guys en masse, or some of them will, but not the whole of them, will actually abandon Marvel and DC. You see, what I think that they will do is they'll stop buying the new issues and they'll start chasing the drug known as nostalgia. And there's a whole video that I would love to do on nostalgia and how it's been weaponized against the populations of people who are buying current entertainment media. But that's a different video entirely. But just for the purposes here, will the Marvel and DC fans who are no longer buying the Marvel and DC comics, will they chase the nostalgia drug? Or will they come over here to the indie side and discover new stories? Or is it that, you know, what was good enough for my dad is good enough for me and Marvel and DC ain't good enough for me anymore, so there's nothing good enough out there anymore. This is something that I've been asking for a long time. And to be perfectly honest, it's yet to be seen. This is a question that will be answered with time. But I always want to inspire awesome conversations here on the channel, whether you guys think I'm right, whether you guys think I'm wrong, whether you guys want to trash talk me down in the comments, whether you guys want to agree with me in the comments, just comment down below and let me know what you guys think. And I would absolutely love to have you guys here because the more of us that are here, the more nerd debates we can get in, the more conversations we can have about these new projects that we're falling in love with. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for being here on A Drink With Crazy. I forgot my beer, but that's okay. I'll do it anyway. So until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.